Time to wake up, Winnie the Drew. Your power nap is over. Hey, computer. What time is it? The time now is 10.29 a.m. on February 18th, 2028. Hmm. What's my schedule for today? After your power nap in Baltimore, you have a scheduled time for work, followed by a coffee meeting with Ellen in L.A. and tickets to Hamilton in New York. I had those tickets ages ago. Uh, what am I working on? You have to work on your program for the International Association of Meeting Planners for Associations of International Designation. I am paid, for short. <laughs> What's my topic? You are speaking on content creation in a world with creative machines. Here is your current outline. Your talk includes the search for creative inspiration, the structure of creativity, unlocking human creativity with AI, collaborating with creative machines, and the best tools for co-creation. Sounds like a pretty good talk. Uh, let's work on the structure of creativity. Set the mood? Setting the mood. Um, um, set the mood for working? Setting the mood for work. Better. Um, you know, I'm still trying to wake up a little bit. Can we do a brain warm up? Yes. Would you like to play Heads Up? Uh, I played that with my speaker friends yesterday. Um, let's do Word at a Time Story. Launching Word at a Time Story. Your suggestion is Robot Friends. Begin when ready. All right. Uh, once upon a time there was a robot named Computer. Every day. Computer would help her human with his tasks because he was lazy. <laughs> Together they would create incredible content by leveraging computers vast knowledge and Drew's puns. Uh, let's see, that seems pretty good. Uh, where do we leave off with the structure of creativity? You were working on defining the problem with creativity. Okay. Um, I'm going to riff for a second, and then you tell me if any of it's good. Uh, all right, so the problem with creativity. The problem with creativity is that most people think that creativity is about being unrestricted and being free, that you have to sit around and wait for inspiration, and that it's almost mystical in how it happens. But the truth is, the truth is that creativity benefits from structure, and, and structure actually helps you to be more creative, and that it doesn't make any things less exciting, it just gives you something to make it a little bit easier, right? And that's why computers are actually good with, with creativity and can help you be more creative because they're good at structure. Thank you for the compliment, human. <laughs> You're welcome, computer. Uh, was any of that usable? The summary of what you said is that people think creativity is unrestricted, but the truth is there is a lot of structure in creativity. Uh, yeah, I think that sounds good. After the problem statement is how you know this to be true. Okay. Uh, I should probably tell a story to demonstrate that. Run the story outliner. Running the story outliner. What would you like the story to be about? Uh, how I learned about the benefits of structure and creativity. When are the times you've experienced this? Um, let's see, so I could talk about uh, what I've learned from doing over a thousand comedy shows, or the process that I use to still write Twitter puns, hashtag still relevant. Um, or there was a time I started doing musical improv. Based on your change in tone, it sounds like you're excited about musical improv. Okay, uh, let's talk about it. What was the context of you doing musical improv? Uh, well, years ago, when I first moved to New York City, I was doing a lot of stand-up and taking different classes and was performing with a group called Comedy Sports. What action did you take? Uh, well, at the encouragement of a friend, I decided to take a musical improv class. How did you feel taking that action? Well, I wish I could say that I was, like, super confident about it, but on the first day, I was really nervous. What was the result of you taking a musical improv class? Uh, well, I got a lot better at rhyming, I improved my timing, and I did a surprising amount of miming. <laughs> but 
more importantly, I learned that structure was found even in musical improv, and that structure didn't make the process any less creative, it just made the process a lot easier. Tell me more. Well, structure frees your mind to be able to focus on other things, like doing musical improv, I didn't have to worry about what type of song to sing, instead I could focus on making interesting lines or funny characters, and that's, true for all types of creativity, right? All types of creativity benefit from constraints and all different types of artistic expression. Anything else? I think that's it. Based on your answers, I've created a first draft of your musical improv story. Okay, uh, let's run it through the humor plugin. Running the humorizer. Here are some ways you can add humor to your story. Your first line ends with, I decided to take a musical improv class. Musical improv is a lesser known phrase. Give the definition. Okay, uh, well if you're not familiar with musical improv, we would get a suggestion from the audience and then over the course of about 30 minutes, we would make up a completely new musical, complete with improvised scenes, songs, and more. You just created a list. Do you want to turn it into a comic triple? Okay, comic triple, so a list of three where the last thing is more of a punchline. Okay, uh, we'll say scene, songs, and sporadic dance moves. Shall we move on? Yes, yeah, good idea. Your next line is, on the first day of class, I was incredibly nervous. You've shared an emotion, express how you felt. Uh, I'm an engineer, so I don't really understand emotion. <laughs> you and me both, but let's try. Why not share why you felt nervous? Well, I had been doing improv for years at that point, so my brain was like, you got this, but my body was more like, nah. <laughs> not really nervous. Because like, I never really sang before, and I don't know if you can tell this computer, but I have a bit of a nasally voice. I like your voice. It reminds me of Mickey Mouse. Uh, not helpful, let's move on. Your next line is, but I was surprised to find how much logic and structure there was, even in musical improv. This suggests a surprising outcome. Give more detail. Sure, well like, so when I thought of musical improv, when I thought going into it, like if you're gonna make up a song, it, I thought you just would start singing and rhyming and that kind of thing, but I, I learned there's a lot of structure. We learned things like verse chorus structure, and then even within songs, there are some things that could help. Like I remember the first day, my teacher saying that if you couldn't come up with a chorus, all you had to do was sing one line and then repeat it four times, and I was like, there's no way that makes something that's good, right? That'd be way too repetitive. But as an audience, you actually want that repetition because then you can sing along. You wanna let it be, let it be, whisper words of wisdom, let it be. Would you like to add more? Um, yeah, well that structure is true for not just the songs themselves, but the entire musical. Like, even our completely improvised musical followed a framework, the same one that they use for Disney musicals. Anything else? I think that's good. Next is, and I realized that structure didn't make things any less creative, it just made the process easier. This is a juxtaposition. Give an example. Okay, well I think some people think that if they follow a framework that it's no longer as creative or that it's too stale or bland, but if that were true, that means you wouldn't like X, Y, or Z because they all follow the same outline. Are X, Y, and Z placeholders? If so, would you like to fill them in? Uh, they are, so I just said Disney musical. So let's find three Disney musicals that all follow the same structure of opening song, protagonist song, conflict song, friendship song, climax, and finale. I've found at least 10 such, mu such movies. <laughs> they include Aladdin, The Little Mermaid, The Lion King, Frozen, Frozen 2, The Unfreezing. Frozen 3, Climate Change is Real. And The <laughs> Fast and The Frozen. Mm, okay. um, let's go with the classics. We'll say Aladdin, Lion King, and The Little Mermaid. Your final line is, creative constraints aren't limited to improv. They're found in all types of artistic expression. You're alluding to other ideas. Give examples of them. Okay, well I know a lot of movies do some form of like the hero's journey. Uh, I know a lot of great talks follow the red thread statements. Uh, and I've been spending years teaching people kind of the hidden structures of comedy. Anything else you'd like to add? I don't think so. How about a closing line? A summary, that's a good idea. Uh, any suggestions? Based on your current script, it should be an interesting way to say creativity benefits from structure. 
Okay. Uh, what are some phrases related to creativity? Think on your feet. Color outside the lines. Think outside the box. Okay. All right, I think I've got it. All right. So to be more creative, right, color outside the lines, but think inside the box. Is there anything else you want to add? I mean, I feel like that's pretty good, right? Because <laughs> most people say think outside the box. I'm saying think inside the box. Because the box is like the structure that I'm talking about, but it could also be computers, because computers come in boxes. I don't know, you don't seem impressed. I'm very impressed. You are a genius. <laughs> Here is an updated copy of your script. Would you like to create some slides? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Launching slide creator. What should be the first slide? Uh, let's start with a slide that is the theme of creativity and the title of the structure of creativity. I've created a few options. How does this look? Uh, kind of fancy. Uh, try again. That's just weird. Like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with the dog. And is that Comic Sans? Um, yeah, let's try another one. Ooh, all right. That one looks good. All right, now let's uh, show a picture of me doing improv. <laughs> uh, maybe one where I'm making less of an awkward face? Nope. <laughs> all right, that's good enough, I guess. Uh, fine, let's, uh, let's make a picture quote of co uh, color outside the lines, but think inside the box. Looks pretty good, I like that. All right, uh, now use uh, what we've worked on so far to create some promotional materials. Creating promotional materials for social media. Wow, that is good. <laughs> it is amazing how much easier content creation has gotten now that computers understand structure. Like, what a time to be alive. Actually, many of these tools have been around for many years. Wait, really? What tools exist at, say, 10 years ago. Here are some creative tools that existed in 2018. Beautiful AI, software that helps you quickly and easily build beautifully designed slides. All right, that's what I used to make, I mean, that's what you used to make these slides. Uh, what else? Amper Music helps you create custom music for your projects. Oh, that'd be good for my rap persona, Isaac Druten. <laughs> you rap now. Oh yeah, check it out. I go one, one, two in the Fibonacci sequence. Misbehave in class cause juvenile delinquents. Don't test your fate or try to be a hero cause you just can't do it like dividing by zero. Maybe you should stick to musical improv. Right, fair enough. What else you got? Face app does quick Photoshop work on images. Oh yeah, that one's fun. Do a face app of me. Okay, here's your original picture. Not bad. Here's you smiling. Oh, even better. Here's you when you get older. <laughs> Look a lot like my dad. <laughs> here's you as a lady. <laughs> Make a pretty attractive lady. Good to know. There are more examples of creative AI. Would you like me to continue? Uh, I think we're running out of time. Can you publish those as a blog post for me? Blog post created. Oh, great. So that link right there is live? That link is live right now. Man, it's amazing that all of those things were available as of February 18th, 2018. Let's hope people were using them. Well, I have a feeling that if they weren't, they were getting ready to start. <laughs> Schedule update. It's almost time for you to go, Winnie the Drew. I thought it might be. You know what, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you, computer. I had fun as well. Oh, uh, you're just saying that because I programmed you too. <laughs> True, but sometimes you have to color outside the lines. But think inside the box? Wow. Well, I guess the only thing left to do is to play my outro music. So you think you're all cool because you studied English while well, I'm tired of stereotypes so I'm about to extinguish any notions you had about it. Man and math so we seem up close when repeat simple paths. Screw your fancy words and use of synonyms.